Welcome everyone. My name is Laura Stranks and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Brisbane, Queensland, Australia. Glad you could join me today. I hope you enjoy what I'm going to make um, today. Just a couple of things to start with. Um, I want to eventually record live. Um, at the moment I'm recording and then uploading um, when I've scheduled it to go um, live. Um, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, um, I'd love you to do join me. Um, I've got a couple of other groups that I've um, created. This one, Cards by Laura, I've had this for a few years now and it's in there. There's lots of um, cards that I've made over the years. I have sold quite a few cards as well. Um, but that's where my designs go when when I get um, lots to show. I love teaching and um, creating cards and showing others how to make beautiful cards. So if you ever need any ideas, there's lots of nice cards in there to have a look at. This other group um, that I've started, Laura's Craft Room Tips and Tutorials, that is where I'm going to put my tutorials for from my YouTube videos. That way all the um, measurements and instructions are in there. Um, some of them even have um, little layout pictures in there as well in the tutorial. So you can go in there and um, create from those. That's pretty much what that group is for. If I've got any other tips, uh, handy tips that you might need to know, they'll be in that group as well. So feel free to join that group and feel free to come on and have a look at my Cards by Laura Facebook page. Um, that's the header page for that one. Um, that's about all the, the info for that I've got to do. Now on to today's card. Um, I think that was all. Yes, I need 50 subscribers uh, on my channel before I can actually record live. So I'd love it if you would um, hop on and subscribe. When you do, um, make sure you hit the little bell. That way you'll be notified when I do go live. Um, it'll just tell you that I'm on recording. Now, today's card, um, I'm going to use the Awash in Beauty um, DSP. And there's a few dies I've got here as well. Um, it's... Just a fun fold card. I don't think there's any particular name for it. Um, it's got a couple of layers in it. It's a little bit larger than a normal this normal fold, um, but I do like it the way I've designed it. Um, the dies I've used to cut out these uh, white frames here, they're the um, Stylish Shapes dies, and this is also from the Stylish Shapes set. Um, you get four different size banners in that. <clears throat> Um, and the squares and circles as well. They're a really nice set to use. Um, that's all of that. Now I've pre-cut um, all my layers so it doesn't take too long to get this card done. And I'll show you. Um, oh, the stamp set I'm doing using is this, tr or the dies that I'm using. Um, I die cut the flowers from... Um, the a washing beauty DSP and the leaves I've die cut them out as well uh, and the greeting is from this stamp set as well just because I haven't needed to stamp any of the flowers but they do look pretty stamped as well I cut all of mine from the DSP um, I've used this lattice frame which um, I find if you're doing a card base and then you want a mat and then this frame that it's a little bit big on a standard um, Australian card base size. So I did do a couple of cards, leaving it solid or whole. Um, but I find cutting it into pieces like this and just using bits of it, um, it's just as effective and it's quite different to, to do it that way. So I'll show you how I've done that shortly. Um, the other greeting... Um, you are a true friend. I think that's from, oh no, it's not from that set. Yes, it's on the same set. 
this one down here you are a true friend that's from that set as well right now we'll get started that's out of that set um i'll just before we get going i'll just put up the measurements here for you um i'm hoping they're in view for you uh, the base is Mossy Meadow. It's five and a half by 11. And then on the long side, you're scoring at four, five and three quarters, seven and a half and nine and a quarter. Then um, these are all the other. The top panel, which is this smaller one here. This is the card I forgot to show you originally. This is the card I did originally in the Sunprints um, DSP. And the next card I'm changing a little bit. Um, I've added some extra onto the next one, but I'll show you that when we get to it. Um, I also put a panel on the back to do um, where you want to do your writing. So that's the one originally that I did. Um, so this top panel that sits up here, which I've done in the white, um, it'll be Mossy Meadow on this one, and it's just scored in half. It's six by three, scored in half at three inches. So that's that one. Um, I won't go through all these measurements. You can um, either screenshot them or they will be on my tips and tutorials page and they will be, the measurements only will be in the description on the video. So we'll just get going with this. Um, now, I'll take these off. They're just the layout that I'm going to do. And these, there's no mat behind these. It's just your base and then your DSP. So what I've scored this um, at uh, four, which is this one, four this way, um, five and three quarters, seven and a half, and nine and a quarter. And then we're just going to fold. So you want this wider bit. That's your back piece. And then... So that'll be flat down there. Then you're just going to zigzag fold these other layers like so. And I've got to remember to put the extra piece on. When I get to it, I'll show you in a sec what I'm going to do. If it's anything like some people, I continually forget to put ribbon underneath. If I'm putting ribbon on as a wrap around. It's got to go under your layer or under your DSP. Um, so I just make sure I do that now. Um, and I know what I didn't do was cut, which we can cut later, um, a back. Oh, yes, I have got a back section wherever I put it. I know I have. Oh, there it's in there. So we shall put this front layer on. That's okay. That's fine to go on there. Um, the measurements I'll give you. On the instructions I'll just get to my silicon mat and my Tombow I don't always use Tombow I've lately I've been using my snail uh, seal which I prefer but for for this I'll do it with the with the Tombow because it'll make it a lot quicker so that will just go on that wider section over that side. You've got a one eighth inch border all the way around. I thought this mossy meadow, if you have a look on your DSP, um, the, um, the colours are on the backs of the pack. So you can coordinate your um, cardstock with that. Now I've got these, which I'm alternating. There's a different pattern on the back of those. I thought that toned in quite well with the, Actually, I want one of those on the outside, so we'll put that there, that there, and that there. So all of those, except this outside one, and I'll show you in a minute what I'm going to do with that. Um, we can glue these three down. I'm making sure I keep reminding myself not to stick that outside one down just yet. I find that this layout the card doesn't close really flat because of all the layers, even if you burnish it plenty or heaps, um, it still doesn't sit really flat. 
so I've decided to put some ribbon um, on the sides and we can tie a little bow to hold it shut. Uh, it may take a bigger envelope, but it's still a nice card to hand to someone, even if you don't post it. I always think of thickness when I post. But with the ribbon being on the side, I better get back up here. Um, it may not sit too well in the envelope. I just had a phone call from my neighbour. Um, his wife had a fall on the other day and she um, she has broken her hip, which is not good. I'll pop over and she's still in hospital, but I'll pop over and see her when she gets home, which is not good. Um, so I've done those three and also now you'll see here what I'm going to do with this ribbon. That folds like that. Now, if you put some ribbon here on this edge, it will hold it shut better. It'll still bulk here, but as you can see, it still opens up all the time without the ribbon there. So I've bought, I've got some of this. It's a new one, um, soft polyester ribbon in petal pink. So I'm just going to put a piece under here and a piece at the back of here. That's why I haven't put this back mat on yet. And you only need, it's enough to tie a little bow at the side. So I'm going to put some of this seal underneath. And I'll put it in a bit so because you've got, your, you'll have your DSP on here. And you don't want the, the um, seal coming out past that thing. So I'm going to go in a bit and just roughly do it in the centre here. And I won't cut it until I see how much I need. So that's going to layer. I'm just eyeballing where I want the ribbon. It's about in the middle. And we need about that much. I think that'll be plenty to tie a bow. Which I need my scissors, ribbon scissors. As I mentioned in my last video, um, my scissors that have got this little bit of ribbon tied on I used to have some um, a chain with some gems, but they got in the road all the time. So I took that off and I just put a tiny bit of ribbon on. Um, that way, you know, they're your ribbon scissors. I've always done that. I keep sc different scissors for different things. And then I'm going to put some more snail on this side. And the back panel will go on here. And we'll just line that up with the piece that's there and snip that off. See, lucky we've got our silicon mat underneath so it doesn't stick. My silicon mat lives under my on my craft desk. So that's that. The ribbon's ready to tie. Now we can put these pieces on and I shall put them on with a bit of Tombow. Not sure where everyone's from. We're having beautiful weather here at the moment in sunny Brisbane. I hope it lasts. They have forecast a bit of rain um, for the end of the week. Maybe next week, but I don't think it's going to be too much. So that's that one. And then the back piece what I've designed, I've just got a plain white, um, a plain white piece, and I've cut this, um, the leaf out, the leaves out of, and the stem out of the paper, and I'm just going to put this on the back, so we can put this piece down first. I always like a bit of decoration. Um, you can always put a strip of DSP. A lot of mine. If I can't think of something to put on a panel, I especially inside a card, um, I just cut a coordinating piece of DSP. And it looks quite nice from that. I'm going to put that right down in that bottom corner. And this one will sit under the 
I'm going to put it under one leaf and, and it's all going flat because it's you could put it up but it's because it's on the back of the card but it's all going to go flat we've got enough layers on the front to to lift it up um i think i like it that way if if you want more room to put um some writing just put a smaller flower or um, cut this one, cut the stem down on this and move it down a little bit on your base, on your mat. And then I'm going to put some Tombow on that and attach it to the back. That's all the, the easy layers to do. Well, the next one's not difficult, but it's um, a little different to this. I only decided to put this back mat on even on the second, the first one I did. Um, I, when I looked at it and I thought, oh, there's nowhere to put your, your greeting if you want to write something. So I added the back panel, which is easy enough to do. So that's the back. And then you'll see when you fold it up, you can just tie a little, you can tie a knot if you like. Um, I'm just going to do a little bow. I won't do it yet because it's um, that ribbon's a little bit thicker than I would have used normally, but we'll, it's still going to flip up like that, so that's probably not working too well. Oh, we've still got to get the other bit on, so that'll fix it. We'll undo that for now. I'll show you when we've finished it'll work better. So we've got another layer to go on yet. Right. Now, our top layers, I've got this mossy meadow here. And this is this is the six by three piece and it's just scored in half at three inches. We'll just burnish that a bit. Whoops. And then I've just got the basic white. These are cut from the um, stylish shapes dies. And the measurements, the measurements I've put in the in the PDF. Uh, a little bit bigger than the die so you've got room if you want if you haven't got the dies you just want to cut a straight white piece um, just allow um, it'll be well that's three by three so it'll be two and three quarter by two and three quarter which is that gives you the eighth of an inch border around if you don't use the die the die cuts off a fraction of that um, so they're going to go flat uh, I did put this one I've got that top layer it's a bit different it's um, got three layers this one's going to go flat so I've got enough thickness on this and it's going to sit that way so you want to put the, the frames on the outside Actually, I will put this front one up on dimensionals. I've got two layers on this one. I've got the DSP behind and then that on top. This one here I've cut with those um, deckled, not deckled, um, not sure what they're called now. I'll just have a quick look. Yeah, stitched, stitched with whimsy dies they're called. Um, and I've done a, a little one on that one as well. This one here I'm going to sit up with my dimensionals, which I've got out. Got a couple of ladies coming over tomorrow for a play day. Um, I often organise just a couple of girls to come and do some things. So that one's going to go like that. Now um, I'll decorate these first before they put them on. I've got two bits that I've cut, um, just bits cut out of the main frame. 
and then um, I'm going to put this one like so and this one I've got them cut a bit different so now I'm just going to put tiny bits of glue on the back of these it doesn't need it all over I just go little bits here and there you could use your adhesive sheets on this um, but I don't really think it needs if you can just spread a little bit of glue around glue dots I wouldn't use because I think that it would make it sit up um, you've got to, you'd have to scrunch them up into a ball and then they wouldn't sit too well after that I think you'd still see them as well just get my tweezers to pick that up got this it just fitted nicely on here and what I do so I don't have to put my fingers all over it is I sit that on top and then push it down you can push it as hard as you like then gives you a nice pressure on it and then the same with this one just sit that up over there a little bit more glue on this the back of this one I've got a workshop this Sunday um, well, when you see this, because I'm recording at the moment, um, when you see the video, it'll be the next day because I'm uploading it on Monday. I'm hoping to do a video every Monday. So keep a watch out. This one I'm going to put here. And I will do some more fancy folds and not just plain cards. The first two I did were just basic card bases and this one's a little bit more fancy I do like doing 3d projects and um, that one goes this way I'll just make sure I've got it the right way around then I've got um, this little flower with this over this side and I'm going to I always when I've got an arrangement of something I put all the bits together first. I'm going to just put a little bit of Tombow at the back of there and then attach the flowers, the leaves at the back like so. Give it a bit of a press and then that will sit over that side and I can sit that up no, I won't sit that one up because it's going to be in under, as you can see, it's in under here, so you want it fairly flat. I don't need dimensionals on that one. So we shall just put a bit of combo in the centre of that. And that can sit over that side. I've got some embellishments to put on this as well. And these little flowers, they're going on the other side. I've got three of those and my greeting. So I'll just put the greeting on first so I can work out. And I'm going to put it on a little bit of a slant. And this can, I'm not going to put it up on dimensionals because I've already got dimensionals under that. So we'll just put that flat. I always find two layers of dimensionals a bit too thick. Um cards unless you're handing out a card if you make a card especially for someone and you want it a bit layered up that might need a bit more glue I think it's fine then I've got these little flowers which I'm just going to scatter put one down here there there and they're all going to go flat as well a little bit of extra glue on this one
I love the colours in this. The green makes the DSP pop, which is really pretty. I'll move this one up a little bit so it's not in line with the other one. I like to scatter, scatter all my... I'll put this one the other way as well. Whoops, we're dropping it everywhere. Press it this way so they're not all the same. Whoops. And we'll put this on top to push them down. Almost done. Just got to attach this to the front of the card. And I'll show you an easy way to do it. So that's that. Now this one here, it's going to sit, and as you can see, this one here, it's about, well, that much, uh, half an inch from the DSP. So if you centre it up and down this way, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this inside out, just for, um, so I know where to put my, so if you centre it so that you've got the same this side as this side and top and bottom. And I'm going to get a pencil, which I did get one out somewhere. And now we'll get another one out. And I'm just going to put a pencil mark there and there. So I, do, I only want um, glue in that section there. And then I'm just going to eyeball it this way put a little line there so I can see that pencil line and another line there so I only want glue on that section there and I might use my snail with this one my seal Just to, because it gets moved backwards and forwards a fair bit. And then I'll put this on my mat so I don't get seal everywhere. When you forget to flick this, it doesn't um, continue on. So that's there. That's why you use your silicon mat so it doesn't stick. And it's going to go this way to move that out of the road. Now, I'm not going to push it down really hard until I center it where I want it. I know that the seal is in the right place. So I'll just maneuver that around until it's even top and bottom and straight. And then push it down. And that's creates that which I love that paper then we can tie this I think next time I would use a little bit finer um, even um, twine would work this is much better than once you've got that front panel on so we'll just tie a little bow at the side this this ribbon is not super good for bows We can shuffle around with that later, but it just gives it, leaves it so it sort of stays shut. Um, you can leave the ribbon off the same as that one if you prefer. Um, I think I would have left it off. I thought it was a good idea at the time, but it'll be a nice card to hand to someone. This ribbon is not super friendly for um, tying bows. But anyway, that's that. I hope you like my card. Oh, embellishments. Nearly forgot. I've got some um, of these pearl basic jewels. They are so pretty. Um, they are, oh, these, these are just your normal basic jewels. There's a new iridescent one, which are really, really pretty as well. Um, these I've just coloured with um, Rich Razzleberry Blend. I did them a day or so ago so that they would dry. And we'll get this. And I'm just going to scatter a few around. I can put one on that flower because they're not super high. 
and we'll put some on the bottoms of these just to finish them off. I'm also going to put a bit of Winkostella on the flowers. I do like odd numbers, so I'm going to put one more up here. So that gives me five. Um, my Winkostella, I'm just going to do these two front flowers. Just to give them a little bit more glitter. Well, this one big one and the other three small ones. This wink of Stella is almost out. It's got a little bit there. If you squeeze it too hard, you end up with a big blob come out. So I don't recommend that. But that's enough. Just to give them a little bit of sparkle. I do... Um, shimmer spray my cards as well I have a, a little box thing that sits up like a um, I don't know what you call it but it has my bottle of shimmer spray in and I spray them all I'll just spray it over the back here and I'll bring it back and show you Um, a mixture of the isocol and um, what we used to have the shimmer paint but we don't sell the shimmer paint anymore but when it when they did clear it out I bought lots of bottles so I've used the champagne mist and I don't know if you can see the shimmer on that but I can and it looks really pretty I didn't shimmer the back but I don't normally do the insides either so that is my card that stands up beautifully and that is it from me. I hope you enjoyed that today and um, I hope you'll join me again. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe um, and thank you everyone for watching. Stay safe everyone and I'll catch you all again next week. Thank you. Bye bye.